Welcome to the new broadcast from Larry Frost. It's all about Vaughn. Remember all that, everyone. It's all about Vaughn. Well, Vaughn, we've seen the video you put out this morning. Do you want to take this man off this bill, too? Okay. You see who that man is? He wasn't a president, neither. We should take him off there and put your picture on there, huh, James? Because y'all never know what one like. You're still running your mouth on the frost. You're still lying to everybody. When are you going to grow up, James? When you're 80 and they're lowering you down in the ground? You literally said in the video today that I laid your mother next to a dog. You go dig that dog up and I will give you a fucking thousand dollars. You dig up and show me where he, there's a dog laying next to your mother's coffin. I will give you a thousand dollars if you did not bury it there. James, I know where your mom's buried. Been there, done that. Pictures to prove it. Would you like to see the pictures again? Would you like to show me to show you where it says Carrie Chandler and Guilford Frost had these kids? So maybe I paid the fucking government to falsify who Carrie Chandler's kids really were, huh? Yes, I forgot. A 2023 brand spanking new penny coming out of the Pennsylvania Mint that I own. I own the Mint, remember, James? I own the Pennsylvania one. Ronnie Ray owns the Denver one. And Uncle Jim owns the San Francisco one. So we own all the money in the world. We stole it all from your mother, remember? Charges are now being filed against you for slandering Jim's name. He is suing you for $25 million. So that is prison for 25 years. Unless your kids want to give up all their property to keep you from going to jail. So, you're right. Sounds like Jim's getting it all. Congratulations, Uncle Little Jim. Screw Vaughn Hilton. Without the Vaseline. It's on, boy. And if I do go to jail, you're right. I'm going to go to jail. And you're in the same cell with me. Same cell. Only one's getting up for breakfast. The other one will be gone to the hospital. You want to run your mouth. Keep running. Keep it running. You did, did tell the truth finally today. You did say that the judge has got a lot of videos to go through. James, you ain't send her half. She also has the two years that I was in power of attorney. Every one of them. Even the one that was posted. James, the Adult Protection Center also has every one of them. Sorry to tell you, every one of them. Even the time your mom fell and I had the fireman go over there and me and him picked her up off the floor. Do you remember that? Because your back and your legs couldn't let you pick your mother up. You were too lazy to call a damn ambulance. James, oh boy, do you want me to start talking? I wish I could because there's a few questions I'd like to say about 
that day. I seen the videos before they were turned over to him. And so is half of America. You wanted to be known, James? You really want to be known? Well, as of tonight, you will be well known all the way around the world. Because my post has been slammed across the world right now. Everything. The movie has now been released. You're on, James. You're on. Live TV. Number, man, number one man of the world. Greatest father in the world. Greatest wife. Husband in the world. And since I just said that, best husband in the world, we're going to find out because your wife's going to go live with me. Yes, people. I have talked to her. And as soon as she gets a minute, she will go live with me. She has a few words for Vaughn. Saying that she should still be in the nut house. That word, nut house, James, does that sound familiar to you? Stinky? The nut house, that's where people don't have their mind all right. Have you looked it up in the state of Kentucky? It takes three. Three family members can admit you into a state hospital. You want to play? Do you want to play, boy? Because you're not playing a boy's game. You're trying to play a man's game. And you're only a boy. Yeah, he is the greatest wife to J-Dub. Because his mom did not press charges against him. She don't want to see her only child going to prison. She'd rather just lose the $30,000. Come on, people. She paid his child support for 18 years to keep him from going to jail. Eighteen years of paying his child support to keep him from going to jail. Plus, she had to feed him. Plus, she let him live in that trailer rent-free. Paying his light bill. Paying his water bill. Buying a brand new truck when he wrecks her car. Bought five or six homes. And he wants to know where her money went. What do you think them houses are worth a dollar a piece, James? Because if they're worth millions as you say they are. There's your mama's money. There went your mama's money. If you're talking about she had millions and millions. You're saying that property you're on right now is worth a million dollars. Would your mom pay for it? Five bucks? Or did your mom give them a brand, brand spanking new 1993 penny from the mint? Pennsylvania, of course, because I'm the one that got it from her. She gave me the Pennsylvania Mint. I don't know what the judges say. I don't know what the lawyers say. I don't really care about any of them. Let me tell you, the clear as day. My life was here to help Alice Hilton be comfortable the rest of her life. 
no matter if her son, her daughter, her husband, or even me was stealing money from her, we need to be struck down and sent straight to hell. That woman would give you the shirt off her back and you have all that that you're going to steal from her? James, them cameras saved your mom's life already. And you're bitching about it because I caught you. Because I accidentally posted a video of you. James, sooner or later, this is all over. And the movie will go number one all the way to the top. And everybody's going to know what kind of greatest dad in the world, the greatest husband in the world, the greatest son in the world you really are. You will not be able to go anywhere around the whole United States of America or around the world. And somebody did not see that video. I guarantee you that. Your bridges are burnt from the family. You ain't got no friends but J-Dubs. Solar Marshall. Do you don't think the Frost family have friends? We paid them all off, remember? 2023 pennies. Brand new. Not even on the streets yet. But I got cases of them. The Pennsylvania Mint just sends them right to me through the U.S. Post Office. For I can pay Clay County off. To make sure that Vaughn Hilton's life is ruined for the rest of his life. Brand new pennies. What, James? You ain't said much of anything. The only thing you're talking about is the old stuff. The day Miss Alice passed away, I did lose power of attorney. When you went to that lawyer and with your mama, yes, Jim did lose power of attorney. He didn't lose the estate of the will. He lost power of attorney. That's when you took over. Remember, James? Remember the telephone bill that you didn't pay for three months and had a $900 bill and it gave her a shut-off notice? Remember the AARP, James, that you shut off for three months? For if your mom fell and got hurt, she would owe hundreds of thousand dollars out on her fucking hospital bills? Do you remember, James? Your bills were all paid in full with your mother's money. But yours wasn't. Or hers wasn't. Because you don't care about her AARP. You didn't want her to have a phone because then she's in contact with the Frost family. And they can help her. When's the last time you took her to the doctors, James? James, I could not give your mom that shot. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a nurse. I can't get my hands on them needles and them shots. There's only one person that can order that shot. And that is her doctor. Her doctor orders it. It happens. So if you want to put somebody in jail... You want to sue somebody. Go for her doctor. Watch what he says to you, James. He's going to tell you the same thing he told you 15 years ago. Get out of my office. You're a nutcase. You are, you are as stupid as there is. Don't ever come back in my office again. Period. 
And that's why Jim and Millie started taking her. You want the real reasons all out there, James? They're coming out. Your mom and dad did not divorce because of some damn cheating on each other. They were still sleeping together. They still loved each other. Even though they lived in different homes. There's a reason. It's called medical purposes. It's called scamming the state. Your mom was responsible for your father's insurances and his medical bills that his social security could not cover because of your mom's income, because of the money that your mom had sitting in that bank account. Your mom and dad got a divorce for your dad's social security medical purposes could be paid in full. And that wasn't coming out of his or her cash. That shows me really how smart you are, James. James, nobody has ever said that you messed around with some boy that I have heard of. Today is the first time I heard it. Is it true? Must be you brought it up. You know, you bring a lot of things up and you want to know how people know. You say somebody's name and one of these trolls are going to look it up. They're going to find that person. They're going to talk to that person. And they're going to find out they don't even know who you are, James. Or they're going to tell them what they know about you, James. If you were a good guy or a piece of shit back then. Turn these into the judge. I don't care. There's nothing inside your mother's home that's being recorded right now. This is all in my home. My rent is paid in full. All my bills are paid in full. I have what I need. Do you? Within the next two months, I expect your water and your lights or your telephone to be off, if not all three. Because I know that 250 is not going to pay your light bill, your water bill, and your telephone bill. So that $32,000 that you stole from your mommy should be almost gone right now. So I figure by the time Christmas gets here, you should be freezing your ass off because you're not going to have no heat in that house. If you think that $50 is going to get your kids back. He wants a paycheck, James. Not $50 from some scumbag friend of yours that you know. You have to have a weekly income. He wants a picture of a check with the company's name, James. Not some freak show that you got going on with J-Dubs. J-Dubs, I got $5 that says you will never see that 50 again. I got another 5 that says that he don't even use it for the kids. He won't get the kids. And that he feeds his dogs and his self with that money. Or use it in the gas tank. That's your fault for sending it to him. And I hope your wife whips your ass. Because that's $50 you could have used. New York City is a very expensive city. We know. Like I said, my brother's there. I 
I've been doing live every single day and my viewers are starting to kick up higher and higher. I appreciate each and every one of you. I love each and every one of you. I'm just tired of Vaughn running his mouth. Stinky, you're all that, buddy. You're all that. And as of today, you will definitely find out. Because I have now posted out on Facebook that I am live on YouTube. So that means them 200 family members that carry the last name Frost, married or bloodline, are watching. All of them. From California to the Tennessee lines to Ohio, Michigan. All of them. Even the gentries. They're looking at your videos that you've been posting for the last 15 years, James. How disrespectful you were to your mother. The time is coming closer and closer, James. I hate to tell you, it is. You said your mom only left you 250 and that's not fair. That ain't for you to survive. When my mother gave birth to me, she changed my diapers. She fed me until the day I turned 16 years old. James, after you're 16, 8, in your book, 18 years old, you are known as a grown adult. You can drink alcohol, you can smoke cigarettes, you can even go to war. You know what that means? You're on your own. That don't mean go crawl up mommy's ass and sponge off her the rest of her fucking life. And that's exactly what you did. Exactly. Give me, I'll answer that one. Time out, Hi, people. From Time from out. G. Hello? Hello? Yeah, I got car insurance. And you can make it 30% less? Well, I pay $12 a month. Can you make it down to $2 a month? Can you bring my car insurance down to $2 a month? I pay $13 a month. That's what I thought. Thank you. And that's how you handle them kind of callers. Save me 30% on my car insurance. I had one call here the other day. Oh, I can save you so much money on your credit cards. <laughs> Funniest fucking thing. I ain't got a credit card. <laughs> Duh. Or I get them phone calls. Do you did you receive your red, white, and blue card? I'm sorry, I'm not old enough to get the red, white, and blue card yet. Oh, we're sorry. Click. They can't see my damn age. Is that 1965? So blurry, it looks like 35. James, you said something about abuse on elderly. You've been abusing Uncle Little Jim for a very long time, and I think they've done with you. You're done. It is all now coming out in the open. The next court date coming up, you will have to be in the courtroom. 
There is no more video chattings. All lawyers, me, Jim, and the rest of the family will all be in that courtroom. So, you will be in the courtroom too, James. Because if not, I'm having the whole thing thrown out of court. I am a handicapped elderly person coming up on my elderly. I am handicapped. I am down to a wheelchair getting around. And I can find a way to the courthouse, but you can't. Oh, you can tell them, oh, I got money. Do I got money? I pay bills. How many bills you got? I got a light bill just like you. I got a phone bill just like you. I pay rent. Claire, I pay rent. Even though you say that I owe you $15,000 because I've lived here seven years and I ain't gave you rent at all. Well, seven years times $300 a month is more than that much money, son. Learn how to add. For somebody who sells houses, the house is probably worth a million. You probably sell it for a thousand dollars because you didn't see the zeros or don't know how to say one million dollars. Let's be real, James. Let's be real. Thirty people. That's we're climbing. Only 10 thumbs up. Come on, people. If you're liking this video, give me some thumbs up. If you don't like it, then I understand. Then, you know. Like I said, Bobcat, yeah, none of us has ever had a job. We're, we've all lived off of analysis all our lives. Which you can pull my name right out of Toledo, Ohio. That'll show you most of the people I've worked for. You can look Jim up. They tell you exactly where Jim worked. It shows you exactly where Millie worked. And who they both, both retired from. You know, I got 30 vis 30 people watching me. I sure love to have that 30 thumbs up. I don't know who's not thumbing up. I don't know who don't like it. When I don't see all them thumbs going up like that, to me, that's that Vaughn Hilton. And I probably picked up a couple of trolls this week myself. Hello, trolls. Welcome to the channel of the Frost. I will be starting to do live interviews with a lot of different people. There are people that I've asked and they kind of said they didn't want to at the moment. I got people thinking about it. And I got people dying to get on here to say what they got to say. James, you got a rude awakening. Because I think the first guess is going to be your wife herself. You literally said that she still belongs in a nut house. I personally think you're the one that belongs in a nut house. She's trying to do something with her life. She's trying to get her license. She's got a piece of paper saying she graduated from that college classes that she took. She ain't as dumb as you think, James. You know why you think she's dumb? Because you tried to make her dumb. You tried to make her where she could not learn nothing but what your commands are. I think you think you're the God of creation and you can tell her what the fuck to do. 
It don't work that way. Women have rights. And if you cannot treat your wife, your girlfriend, with respect and love, like you expect her to give to you, then you don't need a woman. You better stick with J-dubs. Yeah, I'm the king of the stinky weasel. I could probably say right now, I'd probably bet $10 that Jerry is smarter than you right now, James Vaughn Hilton. And your son's a handicapped child. You think him being handicapped makes him stupid or dumb? I got news for you. It don't. The same thing wrong with your son is wrong with mine. And that autistic child is now in his second year of college. James, he will make more money in one year than you've seen your whole life. He's going to make more money in one year than you will ever see in your whole life. In one year, he would make enough money to buy everything your mom owned. Yes, I know. Vaughn, we know who your hun is. You already did a video and you called John Hun. So we know who your honey is. He must like blue, big blue ones, and you must love the big green ones because uh, you guys already told us what colors they are, so now we know what color you guys like. And since you're blue, must be from all them blueberries you eat. It's his green because he's a Martian. Or is it because he's already been up in that little hole of yours? And that's what color it is. Come on, James. Do another video with me. Do a video where I can comment on some stuff. Like you did today. Well, you think I'm slow? Guess what? I now have a laptop. I can turn it on and leave it on all day. I don't have to let dogs in and out. I don't have to go cook my kids' meals. I don't even have to get them up for school in the morning. All I do is get up for school, boys. I don't have to dress them. They dress themselves. You know why? We taught them how to dress themselves. We taught them how to brush their hair. Things that you never taught your kid. The only thing you taught your kids is how to starve. How to be locked in a bedroom and not be loved. And I'm hoping when your children become 18, 19, 20 years old, this video is still out there. Because I'm going to show them how family members are supposed to help each other and take care of each other. And that our family helped this property, took care of this property, helped this money until they were 21. Because if it was up to their daddy... It would all be gone within six months. I don't think it would even last six months.
I mean, I don't know really much to say. I mean, I'm sitting here waiting for my wife to start dinner. I already know what it is. She said something about her favorite. And that's fine with me. Her favorite's anything she wants, she gets. As I always say, way to make 20 years last the right way. Always say yes, dear. What is her favorite? Taco. She calls them taco in a bowl because she don't like the taco shells. So she puts the tacos in a bowl and we call it taco bowl. Me, I've been using a lot of Doritos. I'll get a bag of Doritos and lay them down. And then I'll put all the taco stuff on top of the Doritos and eat them. You are right, Melissa Turner. There is nothing really wrong with Jerry. He just needs somebody to work one-on-one -on -one with him and teach him things. He is a very smart kid. Every kid is. I don't care if you're born with a handicap or not. They're all very special. Some cannot get help to help them survive in the world today. But there are a lot of them that can survive in the world today. And that is as a parent of a handicapped child that is what we teach our children when my son finally decides that he wants the girlfriend and he invites her over for dinner and he teaches he he makes the spaghetti and meatballs that his dad taught him how to do for his girlfriend He's going to catch his girlfriend just like I caught my wife of 20 years. She's going to taste his food and fall in love. He's never going to get rid of her. And that's fine with me. Make me a grandpa. Make me some grandbabies. More grandbabies before I die is better for me. My dad years are almost over because all my kids are growing. They're now making me a grandpa. Now I can bring them over here, spoil them rotten, and send them back home to their parents. Um, do you want me to do the taco You can start it. You want you to bring me a piece of Kobe Jack? I'm hungry. I didn't eat breakfast. No. You've been starving me all day. <laughs> I know you were gone all day. I love you. Sorry, people. I had to take care of the wife. Want to know if I wanted dinner early or not. Yes, he is going to freeze this winter. Unless he gets somebody over there to do the duck work. And you know all that money comes right out of the kids. Is. All that money has to come out of the trust fund to have anything done. And if they even start trying to work on Vaughn's house, I am going to call the estate myself and tell them I want stuff done too. I pay my rent. I've gave over almost $35,000 living here. I think I deserve a few things. I deserve to have my driveway redone. I think I deserve to have some gutters put on here.
Yeah, see, he also don't know that. You're right. If he owns these properties, they're going to take his food stamps. What's he not going to claim the rent money coming in every month? Welfare will get him for fraud. I don't care if my aunt send me $20 in the mail. You have to contact welfare and let them know you got a gift of $20. James, I've been through it, done it. You complain about people calling children's services on you. They've been to my house twice. Twice. Both times, different reasons. They talked to me. They walked through my house. They went outside with my kids. They called me back outside to talk to them. And told me sorry for bothering me. Have a good day. My kids are not in danger. My kids have food. They have clothing. They have respect. They know what they're doing. I agree, James. I don't think they did take your dog for one pile of dog shit in the bathroom. On the newspaper, as you say. There's probably 10 or 15 piles all through the damn house. Your kid, Jerry, or one of them was probably playing with it. Was that human shit on the wall saying I'm hungry? Or was that dog shit on the wall saying I'm hungry? We don't know. We know it's shit. Don't know what kind of shit. Unless I was there to watch it happen. I can't really believe, James, that horse vaginas are more important than your own children. Them horse vaginas were more important than your wife. What, do the horses have a better looking one than your wife? Oh, I forgot you only wanted that when she's not knocked up and you want to knock her up, right? You want one of them big old ones that you could stick your whole head inside of it, huh? Because that's what a horse is. You just want to stick your whole head in there and just lick it clean, don't you, James? Real estate law, James, in the state of Ohio, there's two different laws. Welcome to the Commonwealth. Do you understand that? Ohio laws, Kentucky laws are different. I can sell houses in Ohio all day long. That don't mean I can come down here to Kentucky and do it. You have to get a piece of paper. You have to get certified. You cannot just leave one business and go to another in a different state. That'd be like me going to California and grabbing me a lawyer and bringing him back here to Kentucky to fight your ass. He gonna charge me millions of dollars. Oh, I forgot. I got that. I own the Pennsylvania Mint. Tomorrow morning, they're gonna print hundred dollar bills instead of Mr. Benjamin Franklin being on it. They're gonna put James Vaughn Hilton on the hundred dollar bills. This is going to be Vaughn Hilton country, people. 
the greatest man that ever walked the earth. More powerful than Jesus Christ himself. The man who knows all. 25 degree black belt. He take Chuck Norris and Bruce Lee both out in one blow. James, the only thing you probably take out in one blow is J Dubs. And you're sucking him. I'm not talking fighting, I'm talking sucking. Without them teeth, I bet you suck real good. You want some of me, James? Come and get it. You want rent money from me, James? Instead of me giving it to the the real people that's supposed to be getting it, come and get it, James. As you enter this piece of property, you will see a sign. It says, no trespassers. Trespassers will be violated. James, the second sign says, Get on your knees and pray to Jesus. Let him know you're on your way. Because once you pass that sign, I'm going to put a bullet straight through your head for trespassing. If my dogs don't tear you up first. Run your mouth, James. Run your mouth we gotcha yes frost are on here yes the frost are doing things yes the frost have been online for the last three four years fronting your punk ass you've been on here 15 years running your mouth on the frost Running them traps on things that you don't fucking even know about. You can barely, you don't even, you can't even add numbers, James. How are you even able to read words? I don't know. I think personally, if you passed in high school, you must have been in a slow learning class in high school. I've never told you I dropped out in the sixth grade. That shows you how stupid you are. I'm a ninth grade repeat, and I'll say it clear. My freshman year in high school, everybody can look it up. Everybody knows what I did for a living. I was 15 years old. I'd go to my science teacher because she was a gorgeous little knockout. And I skip every other class after that. I'd be out sitting on the corner smoking my weed, drinking on some 2020 Mad Dog with a couple of my partners. The following year, I finally turned 16 years of age. I dropped out of school. I got a job, James. I made more in six months of my life than you have ever made so far in yours. First six months, James. And that's only at 325 a hour. Bagging groceries. You know, you say you want your mom to pay your tuition. You went to college, two-year degree. And... Home, whatever, selling homes, real estate. Then why didn't you make no money from real estate, James? How many homes have you sold? I didn't say stowed. I said sold. You probably ain't sold no homes, James, or you'd have money. <laughs> James... How can I steal your dad's $2 million when you've already told the whole world you already received it? 
tell me that. Did he have two or three or four bank accounts open with your name on it? Saying that you were the power of a draw? No. James, I know what your dad brought home. Let me repeat to you. Arnold Frost worked for the same company as your father. My grandfather had seven months ahead of your father. So if any layoffs come up, your daddy would have been laid off first. That means my grandfather had more snorty in that company than yours. And my grandpa straight and scrounged and lived off pennies his whole life until the day he died. Your family might have had a little extra money. They didn't have to feed eight or nine kids. They just had to take care of your spoiled little brat ass. James, if you're going to start keep doing videos, you better find something else to do now because you're starting to get boring. And all your lies are coming out. And I'm going to be on your back door the whole time, buddy. You're posting one, two, three a week. I'm posting every single day. I'm coming up on you, boy. I am going to have more viewers, more everything than you. I'm going to let the world know what kind of person you really are. When you go in that gas station, them girls have already seen the videos. When you go into them dollar stores, they've seen the videos. You go into Walmarts, everybody in Walmarts has seen them videos. James, these videos is going to be bigger than the Super Bowl. This is going to be bigger than Donald Trump not being the president no more. You are going big time. And your favorite cousin, Larry, is going to help you do it. But I'm also going to be there when you do the falling, too. And I'm going to make sure there's no nets there to catch you. You're not going to fall into a little cup of water. You're going to fall straight dead on the concrete floor. Face down. You want to fire up the frost? You want to get them hot where they're starting to melt? Well, you have just messed with one of the wrong frost. Some of them. You could have got away with. Some of them laugh at you and say, I ain't worried about him. And then there's some of us that really don't give a shit about nothing. Do you really think I care about going to jail? Jail's only a place. Three meals a day. I can sleep all day and not have to worry about taking care of nobody or taking care of bills or taking care of anything. I can sleep all day long. Get up, take a shower. Let's eat again. Take another nap. Do you really think I care, James? Too bad it won't be that easy when you go. Because Bubba's already been warned about you. And Big Bubba's waiting on you. He knows you're coming. We just don't know yet. He'll know exactly what day you get there. Remember, we pay the prison guards too. I even pay the warden. He got his brand new penny last week. All you people out there who are getting the 2023 pennies. Brand spanking new, 
coming out of the Pennsylvania Mint. They're coming from me. Thanking everybody. Y'all know. I took all Ellis's money. And I bought the U.S. Mint. I bought Pennsylvania. My cousin Ronnie Ray got Denver. And Uncle Jim owned San Francisco. So that must mean the frost run the whole United States of America then, right? We can print our own money. Damn, James, we should put your picture on the $100 bill, buddy. Yep, you're more important than Benjamin Franklin. You invented life on this earth, buddy. He only invented electricity. He's the only one that was there to watch the Congress and the signing of the Declaration of Independence. He ain't nobody. What's he doing on a $100 bill? The 25 black belt martial artist Vaughn Hilton should be on that $100 bill. You saying something about putting Trump on a $20 bill. I think the man on the $20 bill should stay right where he's at. There's nothing wrong with our money. Why change it now? You know, I ain't going to get into the conversation if I voted for Trump or if I voted for the other guy. I'm not going to say. Some of you do know already. Some don't. I know who I voted for. I knew who I wanted as president. And I thought he would be the best president. Was I right? Was I wrong? I'm not answering that in either way. Because then you guys will know who I wanted as president. Like I said clearly today, and I will say in every video, I don't care who the president is. This is the United States of America. I will keep my guns. I will smoke my painkillers anytime I need them. I will fend off anybody who is trying to put me or my family in danger. James, Nobody puts your family in danger but you. Thirteen times of losing your kids. Thirteen. And this ain't all just secular opinion. That's Onita Elementary School. That's Burning Springs Elementary School. That's the doctor's office. That's the neighbors across the street. Hate to say it, your mother even called him on you once. You want to be real? Let's be real. You cash in Jerry's stimulus checks, social security checks, and he's not in the house? That is fraud. If he is not in the house, you cannot get the check. You said you called Corbin today, and they said that you could use that check to pay the bills. They are right. They are right. You can use them checks to pay the bills. I will not deny that, because I took my kids' checks and paid bills. There's only one problem, James. Did you tell them the kids are not in your home? That they're in foster care? Did you tell them that they got new parents now? They got a new mommy that's going to teach them what to do the right way and the wrong way? They got a daddy that's going to teach them the right way and the wrong way? They don't have a piece scum dad no more. You literally did a video 
three, two, three years ago. Your kids don't even want to come home, James. I got news for you. They still don't want to. Even though you keep trying to push the issue. And you don't want them kids there, James. You want the money. And personally, if Children's Services does ever give you your kids back, James, I personally will take every penny I got and go get a lawyer and file charges against them. Because that is child endangerment. You do not know how to raise kids. James, you've been wearing the same shirt for almost six months. That tells me and the 30,000 people that's been watching you for the last 15 years that you take a bath once every six months if we're lucky. I see a lot of yous are here. Yes, I do smoke my painkillers. Night Rider, you can ask the question, but if it has to do anything around the death of Ann Alice Hilton, I cannot compliment, talk about any of that at all. I cannot post no videos of anything that was done in her house. I cannot even post the pictures no more of her birthday cake because I took it with my camera in her house. How come he could say what I can do, but I can't say what he can do? Something's wrong. I was power of attorney. That means he took care of medical. He is to make sure she ate every single day and she got her pills every single day. My job was to make sure her bills were paid. She had food in the house and she was being well took care of. James, did you ever get in trouble with them cameras being there? Would you like me to ask her lawyer? Because I could tell you, and he's already notified the judge about this, that he watched a video at 12 noon, you giving your mom her pills. He turned around then and watched you give your pill, your mom's pills to her at a quarter to four in the afternoon. And you told me live on camera that I was crazy that you can give them pills to her anytime she wants, that you don't have to separate them. And when that lawyer called you and told you, you started going over there at 8 o'clock every morning and making sure she had them, didn't you, James? Because you knew the cameras were there. You knew I was watching you, James. You knew if you fucked up one time, I'm turning you in. You knew if you talked shit, I was coming over there. That's why every time you talk shit and I call there and tell you I'm on my way, you ran home like a scared little bitch. Because you know this big 300-pound boy would stomp the shit out of you. You and your 25-degree black belts. I own a black belt too, James. It goes around my waist. And maybe my dad should have never bought it for me or my stepdad should have never bought it for me. He should have bought it for your mother to bust your ass. Because you sure needed it when you were younger. Yeah. I do believe that, Miss Turner. He's been wearing them pants since April. That's one thing I can say right now. I have changed my pants. 
And as everybody can tell, I don't wear shirts if I don't have to. If I'm going to court, I got a shirt on. If I have to go inside the store, I got a shirt on. Besides that, I'm proud of my big fat belly. I walk around chested. Corbin, Kentucky is where Social Security is. So he told everybody today that he caught Social Security and they said that he can spend Jerry's check on the bills. That is very true. He can. If Jerry's in the house. You are not going to receive a Social Security disability check for a child who does not live in your home. And if you can, if you find a way to get that check when he's not living in your home, James, let me know. Because they're going to owe me from the time my son turned 12 years old until the day he turned 18 years old. Oh, hell, I can't even stop at 18. They'd still be paying me. He's still autistic. He is still an autistic child. They should still be paying me. He still is in my home, even though he's gone to college. Remember, he's not in the home. I can still collect them checks. Social Security, send me all my checks. You guys are probably about $20,000 behind. Because his mom would not press charges on him, Jeffrey. That's her only boy. That's her only son. And she didn't want to see him go to jail. Remember, this is also a woman who pays his child support payment. Hello? Nothing. Why? Yeah. Oh, I'm live now. I am live right now. No, I'm just going live. I'm tired of him running his mouth and I'm getting the truth out there. Oh, well, he's still saying the same old shit on you guys. He did bring two new Frost names in on it, though. Three, really. Floyd, Coulson, and Teresa. Yes, he brought them in there. He wasn't saying bad about them. He says them are the family members that are related to him. The rest of us ain't family members. <laughs> that's, that's the same response you got from me, honey. I laughed my butt off. But Teresa... But Teresa claims me more than she will ever claim him. Oh, if it's emergency, if it's emergency, you will get the emergency phone call. Well, I know, but I mean, I just, I thought if you guys are in town or you can get in the service area, check the videos out. I've been posting every day this week. I'm posting right from my house, right out of my bed. Oh, they're all scattered on YouTube. Under Vaughn. Under the Vaughn. V-O-N. Yes. I've posted five of them every day this week. I'm going to get off here because, like I said, I am live. I got 42 people watching. 43 later. Oh, that was that mean old Marsha. Oh, yeah, mean old Marsha just calling me. 
Wanting to know what's going on. Heard about the lies. Oh, yeah. Mean old Marsha. Hey, Marsha, when you see this video, come on over here and teach my boys how to write, write I'm hungry on the wall. You're so good at that, hon. You did a great job. Yes, he's always been to Lucy, you know, ever since I met him. You know, if you're raised one way, you are raised that way. If you're not raised that way, then you don't become that way. He's a spoiled little brat who had a gold spoon in his mouth all of his life. He has never seen a wooden spoon in his whole life. Me, I grew up with the wooden spoon. I didn't know what a gold spoon was until after I hit my 40s. Do I believe he has done any of the things he claims? Well, it matters what it is, but I'm going to honestly say something. I don't think so. Did he go to Texas and save hoes? No. They would have Texas rodeoed him and buried him. Was he down in Cincinnati killing pimps and saving hoes? No. They would have buried him in the Ohio River. Was he in the Marines or Army? Yeah, he was. Barely got through boot camp and got booted out. His mommy had to go save him. Did he graduate from college? On his housing stuff, whatever that, whatever them words are. Did he graduate? Did any of you ever see the paperwork? Said he is a certified person. If it don't say certified, you it don't mean shit. That's a piece of paper. Unless it says it is certified. And certified, James, means you can go anywhere in the state of Ohio and sell any house you want. As long as you got permission by the owners. He went AWOL and his mom had to retrieve him. That's it. Yeah, see, yeah, and that's, see, and that's the point, people. I mean, he says he was over in Texas this time of the year, blah, 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 blah. The funny thing is, we have trolls in Texas. There are people over there in Texas watching this right now. They can look it up. They can find it in the newspapers. James, if you're going to lie to anybody, get proof that you're not lying before you even show it to somebody. Before you say anything, find the proof, James. Because everybody knows, everybody out here knows, 
but you've been lying for 15 years. You cannot prove nothing. Not a thing. You work for the state. Well, I'm going to news for you. If you ever, I don't care if you work for the state for two days. If you ever worked for any state in the United States of America as a government agent, saving lives, going wherever, doing whatever, you would still be in getting a check. Do you understand that? When you work for the government, you will get a check the rest of your life. Where's your check, James? Oh, I forgot. They don't even know your name. You were Ninja King. Them checks must be in Ninja King's name, huh? Too bad you can't cash them. Because right now you need that money. Ninja King, secular opinion is still waiting for an answer, chicken shit. $10,000 was all you had to do is show up, and they're going to give you $10,000. I don't mean secular opinion is going to let you just walk away with the money. Because I got $1,000 that says secular opinion stomps you. And so does a few other people. Yeah, you can you can tell when people are lying. Everybody Everybody has that glimpse. Everybody has that little sit at a poker table and let somebody try to go all in on something. Knowing he's holding a six and a ten and he's going to go bet $100,000 on it. He'll give you a sign showing that he's bluffing. So you're going to be gone a couple of hours? Okay. That's fine. I'll figure something out. Daddy. I got about three cigarettes left and I'm out. It's done. Okay. You want to throw me a bowl together? Yeah. Meat, cheese, sour cream. Or tell you the truth, baby, I think I'm going to wait a little bit longer. Because I am live. I almost forgot I am live. Okay. And I got a few others jumping on here. And okay. my name's not J-Dubs, and I'm not Vaughn Hill, and I don't talk with food in my mouth. I try not to do no videos live when I'm eating. Cheers to you, Nick. Well, if it was anybody of the Frost that said any of that, it had to come right out of little Jim's mouth. Or Ronnie Ray's mouth, because I think they both knew 
Alice, and they both knew Irby because they all lived in Hamilton, Hamilton, Ohio at that same time. I was never even part of that. If Ronnie Ray said it, or if Little Jim said it, I will take it truthful. Neither one's ever lied to me, and neither one ever would. I could call either one of them right now and say I need something, and they will drop what they're doing right now and come over here and help me. He claimed it was Little Jim. He blames everything on Little Jim. Little Jim stole $25 million. Little Jim stole the Sessler house. Little Jim's after all the property that's there right now. People, Jim can't handle the 40 acres he's living on. What's he going to do with five more houses and 300 acres? Same thing Alice did. Let it sit, do nothing, collect no money, nothing, sit and rot. No, no. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. You want the TV remote? I thought you were saying you wanted my lighter for it to light a candle or something. I don't care. How, I mean, I personally, I don't even like to call him Murphy because that's disrespecting his father. He should be called Stinky or Little Boy. That's my opinion. Because when I call him Murphy, I feel like I'm disrespecting his father. I heard Irvy was a pretty decent man. I wish he would have raised his kid right. James literally did a video out there where he wished his mom died and his mom, dad was still alive. He says everything would have been different. I don't think so. I really don't think so. His dad would realize what kind of person he really was. And he would have did the exact same thing that Ann Alice did. Maybe I don't know how it feels because I do have four boys. I don't just have one lonely child. I got four boys. Together, me and the wife have seven boys. Uncle Jim is your spirit animal. <laughs> He'd be glad, glad to hear that. I've never had no problems with Uncle Jim. I can call him right now and say I need something. He'll help. I tell him I need his trailer. Come and get it. My vehicle was broke down. We're getting ready to go bury my Aunt Alice. I have no way to go pay for the funeral home. I have no way to go to the funeral home. I have no way to get around. Uncle Little Jim called me over there. I got a ride over there from one of my neighbors, and he threw me his truck keys. Here, Larry, take this and make sure the funeral's took care of. Here, Larry, go get groceries and make sure you have food in your house. Jim did not have to do that. That's out of the kindness of his heart. That's a frost. 
We care about each other. We help each other. We do things for each other. Even hand out 2023 20, pennies from the Pennsylvania Mint. Brand new James Von Hilton. Secular opinion, grumpy, Miss Parker, they all love that penny. They probably all hung it up on their walls as a little trophy. They got paid for ruining James Vaughn Hilton's life. James, my viewing views are right now are just about as high as yours are. You're out there begging for money. I'm begging people not to send me no money. I don't need money. You guys want to send me money? Get in your car. Go around the block. Stop at a restaurant. Get me a number one meal. Go around the block again. You see that homeless man there? Give him my meal. That's the kind of person I am. Some people say play these guessing games and win money. I got on it and did the guessing and I won that. Oh, I'm going to give you $150 for guessing and doing this and that. You know something I'm going to tell you, buddy? If this ain't a scam, you take that $150 and go spend it at McDonald's and take it over to the homeless shelter and drop it off. You want to give me money? Help the homeless. Help children that need to be fed today. I am surprised that everybody ain't here yet today. I'm not saying I, I love every one of you that are here. You guys are doing me good. But there are a few regulars and I'm waiting for them to crop in here and we can really get this live going. Yeah, it's definitely going to make his butt sore. Well, I personally, I mean, you might be right there. He might have ate all the food. I don't think he ate all the food. I think he did leave his kids food. What do you call bologna sandwiches food? Do you really call a TV dinner food? To me, no. It's something to eat, but it's not food. To me, food, spaghetti and meatballs, garlic bread, some cottage cheese on the side, maybe a little salad. How about a big old piece of chicken leg on thigh? And mashed potatoes and gravy and corn and a biscuit. Them are dinners. Things you get in the microwave or something to snack on. For people that are working and they don't have time to stop and eat. You eat that and go back to work. That's a TV dinner in my book. Maybe you guys like to eat light. I'm not a light eater. I'm not a light eater. Like I said, I went to the Golden Corral and sat down and ate eight plates of meat. I've cooked dinners.
I taught my wife how to cook dinners. James, you are too stupid to even stand over your mother while she learns how to cook. Or why she was cooking, you didn't want to learn how to cook. You were probably playing with horse vaginas back when you were 16 too, right? Because it sure wasn't the real thing. So, did you get all your girlfriends, James, by lying to them? Because we already know you got Andrea that way. Told her you lived on a big old farm. You had horses. You had money. So, she took everything she had. Got herself a Greyhound bus and came here, thought she was going to be set for life. Boy, was she wrong. She got used and abused, got pregnant. She got used and abused and got pregnant again. You pulled a gun out on her, James. And you say the trolls chased her away? Should I pull my gun out and point it at my wife and see how long she stays here? Do I, should I treat my wife like she's just a fucking piece of meat? Supposed to lay on the bed naked and wait for me to just get done with it? It don't work that way, James. James, you say you want a harem. You want three and four wives. You can't keep one happy. You can't even keep one. How are you going to handle three? Fill me in on that, James. You tell me. You couldn't even keep a handicapped girl happy. How are you going to keep a real woman happy? James, I hope you do find a real woman one day. And she puts you in your place. Because I guarantee you a real woman will put you in your place. Why don't you go date Shanny? Shanny might be needing someone pretty soon because I think Reb's in a lot of trouble with a little bit of everybody. Shanny's looking for a man. You're looking for a woman, Vaughn. Take on Shanny. You don't listen to her. She's going to fuck you up. Not you fucking her up. James, you say people don't know. My phone works. As you could tell, my YouTube works. My Facebook works. You don't think I talk to your wife? You don't think I talk to your ex-girlfriend? You don't think I don't talk to your kids? You don't think I don't talk to people up in Hamilton, Ohio, that used to be your friends, that you burnt the bridges? Surprise. Larry knows a lot of people. You say the frost should go back to Ohio. James. You better look at your birth certificate. Because your birth certificate says the same thing as every one of ours. And there's a reason it is. Do you know the reason, James, why you were born in Ohio and not in Kentucky? I do. Because your mommy and daddy couldn't survive down here. The whole family. Not just your mommy and daddy. The whole family moved to Hamilton, Ohio, 
looking for work. Yes, two or three of the family members did stay behind. They did keep our name clean, clear, and lovable in the city and county of Clay County, Kentucky, Manchester. They have been contacted last night about you running, saying their names in one of your live videos. You have a problem there. Because when it comes to claiming you or claiming me as a family member, they've already claimed me. When's the last time you went to their dinner table? When's the last time you talked to any of them? Before you post that video, I was at one of their houses almost a month ago having dinner. I seen the other one at the church. The man that helps give me my food every month from the church. That's free that you could be getting. But you're too lazy to get up in that truck and drive and sit there for an hour until the line goes down and it's your turn to get your food. You're the kind of guy that thinks that when you pull up somewhere and there's a line of 25 people waiting in line, that you just get to go in the front of the line. You ain't no better than any one of us, James. Tell you the truth, you're worse. You and your gold spoon is not gold no more. Your spoon has just turned to wood. And the worst thing of all, that wood's rotting real quick. Pretty soon, you're not going to have a spoon at all. And then, then, then you're going to have to eat with them nasty-ass fingers of yours. Yes, the end is very close to free Irvy. Stinky, I'm sorry. Big Irvy, I'm sorry. The end for Stinky is coming closer and closer, people. And I hope he can survive at least until winter gets here. Because then he's going to be out in the cold. He says that we cannot do that. You're right. I cannot do that. The estate can. You don't own the property. And if them foster parents take full custody of your children, which I think they already have, they can throw you out today. And there ain't a thing you can do about it. You could file for squadron rights. That ain't going to last long, but I'll have you out in a couple of weeks. And then they will get you for trespassing on any of their land. Because guess what? It's theirs until your kids turn 21. Yeah, if they're the parents, it's theirs. James, I literally would tell you, I wish your ex-wife was a little bit smarter. The day you pulled that gun out on her, she should have called the cops, had your ass arrested, and right now, today, she would be living in that trailer with your three kids while you're doing your time in prison. She would be happy with her kids. Your mom would have did anything and everything to help her, the same as she did you. Was it because she really, really, really loved you? Yeah, she loved you. 
but she hated the way you treated her. She hated you stealing the $32,000. She was still her kid. There was one more thing important to her than even you, James. And them were them babies that you brought into this world. Them were her life. I remember the year you made her not see them. Your time is coming, James. Your time is coming. You know, I got to give Andrea credit. She did apologize the day that you were trying to get the money up for the funeral. You kept telling people you wasn't lying. You wasn't lying, James. You're not lying, James. Nobody, literally nobody can pay for your funeral, mom's funeral, except you. Who do you think paid it, James? Your eyes got real big. Well, who paid it? Who do you think paid it, James? Who do you think got in their truck, went to the bank, drew the money out, and made sure your mom was being buried the proper way? Not you. She'd still be in the funeral home rottening if it had been up to you because you'd still be trying to get the $7,000 to bury her. You told everybody $7,000. It was $4,500, people. I know. I got the bill. I paid it all in $100 bills. When I got home, I called down to London, Kentucky, and had $450 casket flowers sent to her casket. I took $85 out of my own pocket and paid for the dozen of roses. James, you could say, oh, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. I got receipts. I got pictures, James. To you. Do you got a picture of them flowers laying across your mom's coffin, James? Oh, I forgot. You were too scared to even go see your mother let me tell you something everybody I dated a girl one day and she wasn't getting along with her family and her mom died she says she really wanted to go see her mom before they laid her down the ground but she wanted no problems at the funeral home and they were saying they were going to beat her up and they were going to do this and they were going to do that if she showed up. I'm going to tell you something. That girl got dressed and she walked in that funeral home. That is her mother. I don't care. That is your mother. I don't care who someone wants to kill me right there. Why I'm looking at my mother in the coffin. My mom is not going to be laid down in the ground before I got to see her last. Same thing with Alice. People, I was the first one there at the coffin. When the coffin was closed and it was sent out to the hearse, Larry was there. I helped close the coffin. I'm the one that put the red rose inside the coffin with her. James, people tried to send you money. You wouldn't accept it. But you can beg for money. I think the only reason you didn't take that money 
because you knew you wasn't going to ever go up and see your mother. You knew you were never going up to the hospital to see her again. You knew you wasn't going to the funeral home to see her. And I got a $10 bill that says you ain't even been up to the top of the graveyard yet. Which ain't more than 130 yards from your house. You can get in that black truck, never even leave a piece of property and drive up there and see your mother. Think about that, James. Do you think I would never go up and see my mother's gravestone if I lived on the same property? My dad has been dead four years. I've been to his tombstone at least 20 times. 20 times. Birthdays. Death dates. Father's Day. Just days that I'm missing. I forgot. You don't miss your mom. You miss her money. You don't miss your wife. You miss her money. You don't miss the kids. You miss their money. Let's be real. James, you have no feelings for nobody but James himself. And you're a piece of shit. He even said out there one time, I wish my mom would have died and my dad would have lived. But everything been different. I doubt it. I think it still would have turned out almost the exact same way. Once his dad found out what he was doing, his dad would have took care of it too. Just like his mommy did. Any person who thinks a husband and wife of 60 years is just going to say, I'm not leaving my wife shit. I'm giving it all to my son. Has something wrong with her brain. Because when I leave this earth, everything I own belongs to my wife. Not my boys. Not the next door neighbors, not the cousins. It goes to my wife. Monies, merchandise, even my fucking old stinky ass underwear. They all go to my wife. What my wife does with that stuff is up to her. If she wants to start separating it out to the kids, she's welcome. If she wants to hold it to memories until the day she dies and our seven children can fight over who's getting what, I don't care. All I know is when I die, it goes to my wife. If my wife would die before me, everything she owns will come to me. Until I die. And it will be left to the kids. Because April is the mother of two of my children. April's kids. And these two here. Will be able to go through April's stuff. Will I let my regular two boys. That I do not have with April. Go through April's stuff. I personally don't think my two boys. Would want anything April's got. She's got a lot of good stuff. She's got a lot of nice stuff, but it ain't their real mom. And that's the way my boys think. They would rather their younger brothers get everything to help them remember their mother. Vice versa. Something ever happened to my older two boys' mother. Miss. My wife would not want nothing from her. My kids would never want nothing from her. 
my boys would get everything of hers. And yeah, she only has two kids, and they're both by me. So when my ex dies, my two boys get everything that their mommy has. And whatever parts that they want of mine. I hope Todd ain't still recording out there. I ain't seen him jump on here. Todd, if I did jump on and you were still doing something over there, I am very sorry. I'm not trying to steal your people. I think it's important for you to get out what you're posting. And, you know, I thought you were done, so I jumped on on. And like I told you, I was getting on. As soon as the minute you got off, I'm on. I do have 42 viewers. I think this is almost the highest I've been. I've had 40s, but I don't think I've hit the 42. And my thumbs ups is climbing like crazy. So, yep, thumbs up if you like the video. Okay, so Todd is having problems over there. That's fine. That makes it easier on me because, like I said, I don't want to crisscross nobody out. I love all of the people that I watch. You guys post a lot of videos out there. And if I'm sitting here bored, people, I'm watching your videos. Secular opinion, I don't miss. Miss Parker, if it's a good conversation, I'm watching. Grumpy, if it's a good conversation, I'm watching. There's a few others out there, too. They know who they are. They know who they post. Well, I mean, I don't want to hit, hit on them. You know, if they're broadcasting, I don't want to be stealing none of their friends. I don't want to be stealing none of their viewers because it's nice to have a lot of viewers. I'm learning. Remember, Larry don't know much. This is, what, my sixth or seventh time doing a live broadcast without secular, without anybody else. I don't have secular asking me questions. I don't have no one except you side chats over here going up and down this thing here. I see that. I read most of them. Last night, I learned how to do the top chat, which we now make live chat to make sure I see everything. You know, I just want to be real with people. I want people to know what's going on. You know, I wouldn't believe a thing that scumbag, stinky person tells me. 99.999 .999 is a lie. You might get one sentence, one word out of him that's the truth. The rest of the conversation is a lie. I'm figuring later on today, my Facebook account, my YouTube account, are going to blow up. Because like I said, I posted on Facebook today. 
I am now live. YouTube, I am now live. If you have YouTube, come over and visit. Come over and see me. Come over and see the world's best father in the whole world. The best husband in the whole world. The best son in the whole world. We should all just go out right now, run down to the voting booths, and vote James Vaughn Hilton for the President of the United States. He is the best man in the world. He's even more powerful than Jesus and God, he says. His God so great. Well, his God's got him in a lot of problems. So, he personally needs to figure out what God he's serving. Because I think he's serving the wrong ones. There is only one God. The creation of man. That was the lawyer posting back saying they are watching it too. They are now watching me live right here, right now. So, James, you don't even have to send it to them. They're already looking. They're already recording it. Judge is watching, too, so you can send it to her. She'll tell you. I already got a copy. Larry sent it to me. The lawyer's already sent it to me. James, did you or did you not say you served in the Civil War? Well, have you served in the Civil War? It feels like another Civil War coming on. But we ain't sending 30,000 people around the United States killing each other. It's me and you. Me and you. Do I think some of our laws suck? Yeah. Yeah. I think you got a problem with somebody, you shouldn't have to take them to court. Somebody wants to run their mouth and say you're stealing money from an elderly person, that you're abusing an elderly person. I think you two should be able to meet in a park and solve the problem. You want to meet me in the park, James? You want to solve it like a man? Or do you want to do it like a little boy and take it to the courthouse? Either way, it don't matter. You're losing. You know it. I know it. Everybody out here knows it. You literally read the paperwork to them. James, did you notice there's no more court dates on that piece of paper? They did say they are going to keep investigating. They are going to keep watching. In the minute they say everything's good and I'm allowed to post them videos, there's a lot of them clips that will be in the movie. There's a lot of your YouTube videos. In the movie. Come from Jogi Art. 90% of it is your movie. Hello? Hello? City Morgue, can I slab you or stab you? They hung up on me. Hey, you're not going to talk to me. Don't call me. You want me to donate money? Uh, you donate money to me.
pork chop, I wish he would meet me at the park. That's how we used to solve our problems growing up. I don't know about you guys. Don't know about you guys, but when we were growing up, we had a problem with one of the neighbor kids. We would all go over to the park. The two that had the problem would fight it out. While the rest of them are there taking gambling bets and smoking their weed. And drinking their Mad Dog 2020s or whatever else they were doing. When we all were done, the man that got hurt worse went home and got cleaned up. The other man went over there and finished start enjoying the party and smoking that joint and helping drink that Mad Dog 2020. I lost some. I've won some. So to me, it don't matter if I win, lose. I must stick up for my own rights. I must stick what I think is right. No, we have not really come up with a real good name yet. We have like four or five different names of the movie figured out, but we have not, me and their producers and the other people have not came up with the main one that we think will be the eye catcher of the movie to help us go number one. People, I don't want to be number five. I don't even want to be number two in the movie system. I want to be ranked number one. I want it around the world. I want it in every, every single house around the world. To be able to see this movie. I want it to skyrocket. Do we want money for producing it? No. Do we want money for showing it? No, thank you. Like I said, you want to donate any money to our cause? Donate it to the homeless. Go feed a homeless man. Go buy him a Burger King or a McDonald's and give it to him. Hi, Todd. Sorry I didn't interrupt your little live there. I hope I didn't drag some of your friends. You went blackout on me, so I came over and I started my own. Told you I was. I mean, we're friends. I'm not going to hide from you. You get time, Todd, you might want to go and see some of the beginning. Are we going to take this non-president person off this bill? Are we going to put Vaughn Hilton's face on that bill? He's the most powerful man around the world. He's a 25 belt ninja. Black belt ninja. He could beat Chuck Norris and Bruce Lee with his eyes closed and his hands tied behind his back. He's the baddest man that's ever walked this planet. Don't nobody mess with Vaughn. Well, vampires are easy to take care of. I eat plenty of garlic. Everything I eat has garlic in it. I love my garlic. Yeah, that's that's probably exactly what he would do. He'd take his shoes off and half the world would die from the smell. You're going to play Benjamin Franklin this weekend. There you go, Mr. Electricity.
you started square dancing yesterday. That's pretty cool. That is a fun thing to do. Hopefully you meant that in a good way there, Riz, because I don't want to get nobody hurt on my shows. Y'all can hurt each other on stinky shows or whatever, but let's be nice on mine. Yeah, for being a big punisher there, silly, central, he runs from me. No, I think it probably smell like bad body odor. Like bad feces, dog shit all around my house. If he's got a water leak destroying his floors, he did it. And them dogs crawled up under the house and knocked the piping loose. I spent $150 to have somebody fix it right before I lost power of attorney. So if he's got it messed up again, he better call the estate because they're the ones controlling it all now. They will have a real plumber come out there and that real plumber will look up under there. And if there's any piles of dog shit, he will not crawl up under there. That is cool, Todd. I'd, I'd like for you to try to record it or something, buddy. I think that would be something good to watch. I think that would make a better show than what I'm doing with Vaughn Hilton. People, you know, sooner or later, I'm going to get tired of talking about Stinky. I am going to get into a few interviews about Stinky. But you guys ever think about it? You guys get time. I don't know why you guys don't do it. A lot of you guys are out there shy. You don't like to talk like me. I'm a talker. You give me enough time, I could probably sell you the Brooklyn Bridge. You know, that's I love to talk. The only thing when I talk, I tell the truth. Or I'll tell you what I think. I'm not perfect. I'm wrong a lot of times. Ask the wife. She'll tell you. I've been wrong a lot of times. But I learned from my mistakes. I learned from what I learned. Vaughn has a problem coming out of his trailer, runs out of air just to throw that airplane. You, how do you think he's going to lay down on the ground and get up under his trailer? That ain't happening. Vaughn, I want to show you something. You all see that? Let me open it up a little bit. Let me show you something. You guys see them? Them ain't $1 bills. Them are not $10 bills. Them are my best friend. My very best friend. The man who invented electricity. Do you know who that was, James? Because he's on the $100 bill. I will bet every penny of this in my hand. The secular opinion stomps you in the first round that you don't even get out of the first minute of that first round.
You can bring J Dubs for a referee. You can bring Solar to be a referee. I don't care. It's going to be a fair fight. I guarantee you that. Or your referees will deal with a 280 pound man. My opinion, if you guys got a beef with each other, let's get it on. Get it on, get it on, boys. Seckler, don't disappoint me, buddy. I'm putting every penny I have on you. Don't disappoint me. Because I, I, think, I think you could take him out within 15 seconds of the first round. That's if you can catch him. Because once that bell rings, you know he's going to run. He's going to get away from you as fast as he can. He's going to snag up that 10000 and try to make it to his truck and lock the doors. It's on, James. I got over $2,000 here right now. And it's all on secular opinion. James, I'll give you a hundred dollar bill just to even show up at the park. Honey, promise. Your two thousand will turn into four thousand. Because there ain't no way Stinky's gonna be secular opinion up. I didn't say I didn't say. I didn't say nothing. Bond will not get out of the first round. That'd be like Vaughn trying to get out of the first round fighting me. Or fighting Ronnie Ray. Oh, Ronnie Ray. No. I don't think. I don't think. I don't <laughs> think. I don't think he let last two seconds with Ronnie Ray. He might get not about. If you, yeah. Not if he you might like get. You. He might get five seconds with me. It might take me a minute to grab a breath of fresh air to sucker punching. But Ronnie, he's quicker in the draw. He as soon as, as soon as that bell rings, Ronnie's hands already hey, headed. Right. Ronnie's hand will hit him as as soon as the bell rings. Ronnie's bell is gonna ring, Irvy. Hey, if you put Marsha in there, I don't think so. I just think she'll be taking her gun and pow. Yeah, here, there, here's another fight. Here's another fight. And if that happens and he chickens out secular opinion, I got another fight we can <laughs> promote. And I think everybody would be interested in this one. Marsha Frost fighting the 25 degree black belt ninja karate expert. I will put all my money on Marsha. Yeah, so would I. You know them family jewels, James, that makes all them kids yeah, fight Marsha. <laughs> them jewels, you'll be swallowing them. Think about that. You will be swallowing your own jewels. She might be little. But dynamite comes in little packages. I've seen her when she's mad. Been there. Done that. James, you don't know how many people would like to get their hands on you. Someday, somewhere, somebody will. You're going to make the wrong move. You're going to be backing up out of somewhere and push a cart into somebody's car. You're going to bump into somebody at the store and they're not going to like the way you gave them the dirty look after you bumped into them. 
and they're going to slam you like a piece of shit on the ground like you are. It's coming. I can see it in your future. My gods have showed that to me. We know your future, James. Every one of us. Everybody on YouTube, everybody that's watched you 15 years, for the last 15 years, you're going to put Jim in jail. How close are you to putting Jim in jail? You ain't even in the ballpark. How long have you been going to put secular opinion in jail? You can't even make it to the ballpark. Oh boy, me and you're both at the ballpark, ain't we? You made it there, huh? Well, it looks like I just made a home run on you. You struck out at first bat. Who's winning the game, James? It's one nothing. As you notice, there was no court date left on that piece of paper. That means I have no court date. The only way I will never have another court date is as long as I do not post any videos of Miss <laughs> Alice inside her home with the video cameras. James, that's fine. Because my lawyer, the Adult Protection Center, and the judges have all of it. Both judges, James. Not just the one we seen. That judge that you see for your kids, he has also now received all of them. Where you say you're going to put him in jail. You're going to sue him. He's a quack. He don't know what he's doing. Remember, James? Ain't that what you said about the lawyers? Ain't that what you said about the judges? It's out on YouTube. That ain't nobody else. That ain't secular opinion sitting there talking it. That's not secular opinion's voice. That's not secular opinion's face. That is yours. Your voice. Your face. Everybody sees who it is. Do you think you're going to get away with it? If you get away with it, so can I. You can keep telling people I posted them videos. I didn't post that video. I didn't literally start the cameras in your mother's home. You know whose cameras I'm were, James. The girl's last four digits of her social security are on them. How do you think we proved that you stole them? Hello? How do you think we proved it, James? Why did they end up coming back to your mom's house, James? Because the police were on their way. And I'm going to get you for theft. If that camera wasn't there, James, you still would have been giving your mom pills at 12 noon and 3.30 in the afternoon. When it's supposed to be 8 in the morning and 6 o'clock at night. Without them cameras there, James, the last time your mom fell and me and the fireman had to pick her up off the floor and I sent your mom to the hospital. That camera was working. I was awake. I heard her fall. You went over there and said you couldn't pick her up because you got a bad back, bad leg. Is that what happened to you when you had your babies? Was that two-pound baby, three-pound baby too heavy for you to pick up? Did it hurt your legs? Did it hurt your back? James, I got another thing to talk to you about. I lived here 15 years. You might have been here 20, 25 years. What is this stuff that Kentucky shakes? You were shaking in bed. You couldn't get out of bed. 
to me, that's a damn excuse. Because if I'm shaking and I'm in bed and I feel like death warmed over on me, I dial 911. I go to the hospital and be checked. If you are a man and you loved your children, I don't care if you were shaking yourself to death. You still have to get up and cook their dinner. Or call Marsha. Or call your mother. Or call somebody to come over and cook for them. You would rather say, eat baloney sandwiches, get it yourself. Don't bother me. My horse vaginas are getting small. I need to get them bigger. James, we don't know about you. We know a lot about you. A lot. Sorry, people, getting a little more comfortable. Had to lay my heart pillow up under me. Take some pressure off the heart. You're right. You're right, Mrs. Mountain Neighbor. You are definitely right. Parents don't get sick days off. I don't care if you're sitting there puking your brains out. If your baby needs something, you get up and take care of it. And welcome to my show, neighbor. Miss Mountain Neighbor. You know, there are people out there that knows that Larry did not set the cameras up in Alice Hilton's house. I did not order the cameras to be put up in Alice's house. Alice Hilton herself asked for cameras. And the person that she was talking to just happened to have a couple cameras that she could spare for a couple weeks to a couple months until Miss Alice got her own. James stole them out of the house. When I told him they had serial numbers on them, and that the police were on their way. They appeared right back up. Think about that, people. Her pills disappeared once. I caught her and told her I was coming over there. Me and my cousin Joe. And we were going to flip her house until I found them pills. When I got there, they were exactly, exactly right where they were supposed to be. I wonder how that happened, James. I wonder how that happened. Did your dad's ghost come in there and take him and move him on his mom, on his wife? He's waiting for his wife to come back to heaven to be with him. Or did her piece of shit son take him and thought he was going to play games with his mama? I think that's what happened because they came back real quick when I told you I was going to notify the authorities. Power of attorney carries a lot of power. And James, if it does go back to court again, the person who did put the cameras in there will verify she put them in there. You saying we stole guns from you? There was somebody in your house when you sold them guns, James. Sold them. Not someone come and steal them. You sold them. He was there. He will swear to oath that you sold them. James, you want to talk about the $200 tractor that you sold that was worth at least $4,500? You don't think I know? I talked to the old man that bought it from you. 
literally the same man that bought it from you. I talked to him. He will go live video chat. He will walk in the courtroom and tell them what you sold it to him for. You had no permission to sell it. It was not yours. It is your mother's. So what? Your dad owned it. Anything that belongs to your father goes to your mother. You do not get nothing until the day your mother is passed away and leaves it to you. But because you were a scummy ass piece of shit, she only left you two fifty a month and left your three kids everything. I say it clearly. You're lucky I don't have two million dollars from your daddy's estate. Because if I did, right now, there would be a six-bedroom home being built in that field right next to your mother's home. Within six months, me, my wife, my two teenage boys, and all three of your young children would be living in that house. And I would control the land. I will control property. I will control money. And you would be gone. I would film your eviction notice. I would film you moving your shit out. That truck does not say James Vaughn Hilton on the title. It says Alice Hilton. The only reason you still have it is because of me. I'm the one that told Jim and Millie let you keep it. Because if it wasn't for me, you wouldn't even have that. You want the truth, James? A lot of the truth's coming out. We stole all that money from your mom. You're right. I bought the Pennsylvania Mint. Ronnie Ray bought the Denver Mint, and Uncle Little Jim bought the San Francisco Mint. So now we own the whole America. And we get brand new 2023 pennies delivered to our house once a week. And we are giving them to every person who has something to do with destroying Vaughn's life. I'm sending them all brand new pennies. That is their payment for helping the frost destroy some piece of shit scum. You want to play? The ball game is on. Inning one looks like it's 1 0. You're coming up to bat next. What are you going to do? You're going to strike out again because you already struck out once. I'm not in jail. So you struck out. Sounds like I got a home run. Here comes inning two. Let's see if you're going to strike out again. I see that. I can't really pronounce your name. I kind of see that. Um, I do see him using that 50. But I don't think that judge is even going to consider that $50 as a weekly check, as payment. I mean, I could tell any one of you guys send me $50. That don't mean I'm going to get $50 every single week. What's $50 going to do? Really? What is $50 going to do for a man and three young children, 12 and 10 and 10? $50 might feed them for a couple of days. It don't buy them all new school clothes.
They don't buy them new beds. Because you know the dogs is probably shit all over their beds and by now. Really, James? What is $50 going to buy? You literally think you're going to move into your mother's home? I guarantee you that will never happen. Do you think they want you to destroy that home just like you did yours? Do you think they want a $30,000 trailer to be destroyed into a $10 trailer? I don't even think you get $10. You might get $10 from the scrap. That's about it. And then the people that's taking the scrap has to wonder if they can survive the smell coming out of the trailer just by pulling the aluminum off of it. James, I see you've been getting mad. You went frustrated today, crazy, wise, whatever. I understand why. Because that pain in the ass cousin Larry Frost of yours, the biggest troll that you think you had is gone, and I am now here. I am going to ride your ass to the day of time. To the day I die, I will be on here every single day talking shit to you. When you become a man and you want to meet me at Oneida Park, let me know. Let me know. Anytime, any place. You say you're family with some of the frost, but you're not family with the rest. When's the last time you caught any one of them? Like I said, I had dinner with one about a month ago. I seen one last week. I talked to one yesterday. Them certain cousins that you're talking about. Have you talked to him? I have. And you can't say, oh yeah, I called her today or I called her yesterday. Because I'd have to call you a liar. Because you will find out they're not even in the state of Kentucky at this present moment. She's not at her home. Y'all, I have been trying to read as many questions out there as I can. Yes, the judge is going to definitely laugh at Vaughn. She already has. So is the lawyers and everybody. <coughs> yeah, Mama needs a new pair of shoes. Yeah, that's very true. Cut it up and send Vaughn's middle of video. Yeah, but personally, guys, I, I, I think the stink would destroy your house. And then your woman or your mate would have to fucking be yelling and screaming at you to get it out of the house. So then you just wasted money on a stinky piece of memorabilia of Vaughn. He don't live right down the street from me, no. We live about three to four miles apart. He says he will not go live with me because of the lawyers told him not to. And he don't want to get in trouble with the lawyer. Well, guess trouble, guys. I don't want to trouble with my lawyer, neither. And on the seventh day, when we were in court, my lawyer told me not to talk. 
The judge looked at me and said, Larry, would you like to take the stand? I looked at her, looked at my lawyer, looked right back at the judge and said, Your Honor, I would not like to talk. I would not like to be sworn on the stand. My boss, the lawyer, told me to not say a word. So that is where I'm leaving it. And that's where it was left. She literally, both lawyers, Alice's lawyer and my lawyer. James, did you know the cameras were there? Yes, I know they were there. Did you ever try to take them out? Yeah, I took them out, but I put them back. My lawyer. James, did you know the cameras were there? Yes, I knew the cameras were there. James, did you know the cameras were there? Yes, I knew the cameras were there. That's all I got to ask you. You knew they were there. You knew they were recording. You knew why they were there. You knew who ordered it. You knew who put the cameras in there. But you lied to the judge. You told him I did it. You told them I conned your mom into putting the cameras in. Nobody conned your mom. I got a witness. I got proof. I got the person that put the cameras in there. I got proof when you stole them that there was two brand new cameras bought. That person didn't con your mom into putting cameras in your mom's house. Your mom conned her into putting cameras in her house. Because she was afraid somebody was stealing her food. She was afraid somebody was stealing her underwear. She was afraid that somebody was stealing anything and everything. She was afraid people were going to break in. You personally, James, knows there was two cameras in that house. And I got proof of that. One in the living room, one in the kitchen. And now you're telling people there was three, that I had one in your mom's bedroom? James, you might be a pervert and want to watch a 92-year-old woman get dressed and undressed. But I don't need to see no wrinkly old body. If I wanted to see a wrinkly old body, I will look at my own self. Do you understand that? I don't play with horse vaginas. I play with my wife's. And there's nothing horse about that at all, buddy. Oh, I forgot. You don't know what it's like, do you? You ain't got a woman. Because you didn't know how to treat her. You disrespected her. You expect her to be your damn slave and serve you and serve your damn children. She had no life. You can say what you want. Please say it. Because I've already talked to her. And her live video chat with me live will be coming up really soon. As soon as she has some time to do it. And I figure out how to do all of it. My screens are now going to be changing pretty soon. My backgrounds are going to be changing. I am moving up in this world. James. I'm coming after you and your YouTube videos. I'm coming after your friends. I'm coming after you. You run your mouth about me, Jim, and Ronnie Ray. Back it up. Back that mouth up, boy. Please back it up.
you know, and I kind of agree with that Bobcat. You know, SPOA, can I get him for filming inside his mother's house coursing a 92-year-old woman on what to say? You all seen it. You seen her stutter. You see she had to think about it. And he started putting words in her mouth. She literally did not know if her father was even still alive. And he had to tell her twice, no, he's already passed away, Mom. That shows me dementia right off the top. It is illegal to record a dementia woman. Especially in an interview. James, you could do that interview with your mother again today. And I will go over there one hour later and do another one. And she'll tell you and me totally the opposite things. Your mom is 92 years old. She has old timers. She has dementia. Even though you don't think so. You're a 14 year ordinary. I still don't know a fucking thing. Still thinks 92 year old women like to lay on the floors and make pallet beds. James, go to the nursing home. See how many 90 year olds you find laying on the floor. Go see how many nursing homes let you leave their patients laying on the floor. See what they say. See how long you keep your job. James, you made your life hard. Now you have to live it. You're the one that burned the bridges with the frost. You're the one that burned all the bridges with all your neighbors around you. Not the frost. Frost never even gave you the matches to start the fire. Your daddy must have gave you them because uh, your mom was a lot smarter than that. Yeah, your mom was camping on the floor at 92 years old. Maybe she went back to being 10, huh? Maybe your mom's mind went back to she was 10 years old. She's going to camp on the floor. Just like we all did when we were 10 and 12 years old. Making little tents with the chairs and your sheets and your blankets. and Yep. James, you're lucky I can't get into that conversation. Because that has forbidden me and you to talk about. But once it's all over, it's coming out. You're going to hear it from me. Not from the courts. Not from the judges. Not from the lawyers. Not from 10,000 trolls. Not even your best cocksucker and J-dubs. You're going to hear it from me. That, I can guarantee. That's not a threat, James. That's a promise. I'm not allowed to threaten you. I'm not threatening you. I am promising you everything I have said today in this video. I promise you. You don't have to worry about the frost. 
you don't have to worry about any of your neighbors. There is a man upstairs who controls this world. He created the heavens and the earth. He even created your God, remember? Your God has nothing, nothing, no power on my God. The only person that even gets anywhere near the power of my God is his only begotten son, Jesus Christ. And he asks his daddy for permission. He asks his daddy. He don't tell his daddy like you try to do. Telling your mama and telling your daddy shit. Go up there and tell Jesus Christ what to do, James. You go up there and you tell God your story, James. He's going to take his hand. He's going to lay it down on your fucking brain or your piece of shit head. And your whole life is going to flash back in front of your damn eyes. And he is going to vanish you to hell. If I remember in the Ten Commandments, Number one commandment. Worship. No. Other. God. There is one God. Created the heavens and the earth. His first rule. You worship no other gods. People say, Larry, what do you think about this homosexual stuff going on in this world? People, if that's what you want, enjoy. Have fun. I do not have to answer to Jesus Christ for it. I do not have to answer to God for it. You do. I am about ready to get off this live show. I have been on here almost three hours. My dinner has been sitting in there an hour getting cold because I don't like to eat in front of this camera. I'm not J-Dubs. I'm not stinky. I don't talk with food in my mouth. And when it comes down to eating, I want to sit down and eat. I don't want to do both. I am glad that I've had all you visitors here today. Some of you are trolls. Some of you are troublemaker Todd. Some of you are good people. And I would have to say 90% of you guys are really good, nice people with here. You guys have treated me with respect, dignity, and gave me the time to say what I have to say. Todd, we already know that. That was told to me the first day I did a live video. I think that was told to me a month before I did my live videos, Todd. But Todd, I still like you. No matter if you're a bad person or not. Todd, I see you starting trouble out there with them. You're, you're, you're showing it to me. But I still love you. You're still my brother. Everybody, just live on life. Be happy. Take care of yourselves. Take care of your family. I'm expecting another live video coming out of James Vaughn Hilton's mouth, Stinky's mouth tonight or tomorrow. Reverend Channing, I still got that word out there for you guys. You guys want to talk to me about it? 
you want to tell me your side of the story about it, I'll listen. It better be one hell of an excuse for you to hit that boy. And I don't care if he come up and kick you in your nuts. I don't care if he made your family jewels hurt. That is still no reason to hit a 16-year-old boy. You guys want to talk to me about it? You guys don't like me posting what I posted about it? Come and see me. Come and talk to me. You see, I'm live. As soon as I see you pull up on the side chat, I will invite you in. I'm learning. Larry, don't put up with no bullshit. You guys can't be real with me, then don't. You don't have to watch my shows. You don't have to be here. You don't have to talk to me. Larry's real. I don't play games. I ain't nothing into that. You can't be truthful with me, then you can go on your way and I will go on mine. I will still keep going on YouTube. Like I said, I am going to be Stinky's Nightmare. Every time he posts a video, I'm doing one right dead after him. I will not try to step on none of my friends' toes out there. You all have a good night. I'm going to have my wife throw my dinner back in the nuker and warm my taco bowl up with my Doritos. You guys have a good night. If it gets too boring, it is Tuesday night. Larry might even go live tonight. What else? There's something to talk about. He's going to run his mouth about something. Anybody ever hears anything from Shani and Rev about my video? Someone send it to him. Someone show it to him. I want his response. He's supposed to be the Rev. He talks about the Bible. Rev, let's get on here. Let's talk about the Bible. Is that what you want to talk about? Would you like me to tell you where you shouldn't hit your kids? Is that in the Bible? It's in there. Oh, I forgot. It ain't your kid. It's hers, huh? So you can abuse it anytime you want. Rev, sorry for you, buddy. You're making us all look bad. Between you and Vaughn, I don't know which one of you is worse. Vaughn had you beat. But when you hit that little boy, a 16, 15-year-old boy, that is the same age as my baby in there. You let me, you let the teacher hit my kid. You let a principal hit my kid. You let a grown man hit my kid. You ever seen a big old 300 pound grizzly bear? That's me. That is me, buddy. As their stepdaddy or their mommy's boyfriend. You're supposed to be protecting them. Rev. Protect. Not beat. Our world has went crazy, people. Our world has went crazy. Don't look like I'm getting dinner yet, so I'm staying live for a few more minutes. My wife is eating her dinner. She has took her shot, and I respect her because she has to take it every day at a certain time. And I didn't know what time it was. I was getting ready to eat, but she got her taco bowl already. She's grubbing. She loves her tacos. I just hope she saves sour cream because 
this is the girl that can eat the whole thing of sour cream and not save me a bite. Oh, she said she saved me one bite. See, one guys, bite. one bite. I didn't say out a whole bite. brand new container. <laughs> All right, <whatever. laughs> I love her to death, though, people. If that happens, it happens. I don't care as long as she's happy. Happy life. Or as they say, happy wife, happy life. She's happy. And my prick sometimes, yeah. Yeah. More than just some, a lot. But she loves me. She stands by me. She will do anything she can for me. That's love. To me, that is what real love is. No matter if I'm at my good points or my bad points, richer or poorer, you still love them and stay with them no matter what. You have problems, you work it out. Yes, I know I did say I was going off, guys, but <laughs> y'all said bye and I just kept talking. Todd sunk the Titanic. Yeah, sometimes I wonder if he is or he's loading them cannons up to be shipped at it. I mean, I just want people to get along on my show. We're mainly talking about Stinky for the first maybe week or two. And then I don't care. We can change it. We can talk about anything. I can go to Reverend Channing, or I can talk about shows that I watch. I can start doing cooking shows. Would you all like me to teach you guys how to play some real Texas Hold'em poker? Or teach you guys how to shoot some real pool? Come and visit. I play them both. Riz, all I can tell you, honey, bring your money. Bring your money. If you want, we'll start small. We'll only take $50 at a time. And after I beat you more than 10 times and you ain't got two wins, we're going to move it up. You've been playing 30 years, Riz. Well, guess what, Riz? Me too. Riz, I own four trophies. And a good way to find out if I'm lying or not, go coast. Pool lead. Fort Lauderdale, Florida. I just told you. The bar, Rio Vista. <laughs> trophies are in this. The trophies are in the case. Prove it all. Like I said, you might get two or three games on me, but ten games. I'm going to own most of them. Oh, I've walked in the bar with $10 and walked out with 1000 and be drunk. As long as I have enough money to pay for the first pool table, pay the first bet, and buy myself my first drink, I can sit at that bar all night long and get drunk and walk out with a thousand dollars. I love break and run. A lot of people shoot good, Riz. I'm not going to put you down, on. I believe you are good. 
But I'm going to tell a lot of people out there in this world, when you're shooting pool, don't take the quick, easy shots. Look around the table. Look at all the shots. Think of where that cue ball is going to end up. Think about what your next shot's going to be. Because if you don't, you just got beat by me. I asked them. I got a lot of friends. Look at my winnings. I'm into the 40 and 50 million dollar winnings. I bet million dollars at a time. I win. I lose. There are men, there are people better than me. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying I'm in the best in the world. My name is not Stinky. I am not the best. But I am really good. Y'all, I love you. Been three hours. I am out of this channel for now. I will be probably going over to my pool table after dinner. And shooting a little pool out there on Facebook. If I get too bored, I will try to go live again. So if any of y'all sitting down watching TV and there's nothing on there, come on and visit. I'll be around. Dig out that mouse, Todd. If that's the mouse that's going to help you lose money in the pool table, that's fine with me. I don't care whose money it is. I love money. Love y'all. Be good. Stinky. We're still waiting on you. I'm still live chatting. And I'm even getting more hours in chat. And I'm getting more visitors. I got more friends than you, James. Watch, James. I'm going to pass you up in flying colors. James, time for you up to bat, buddy. Let's see if you think you can hit a home run or are you going to strike out for the second time in a row because you've already struck out once and I got a home run. See you at the end of inning two.